Hey homies, welcome to this week's vlog. I am so behind on editing that like, I don't even wanna tell y'all how far behind I am, but I haven't picked up a camera to vlog in probably two weeks. And so I miss y'all, so here I am. It's Friday, and if you know what that means, yes, I'm leaving Olive Garden with my lunch. It's actually almost three o'clock though. Oh, it is, it's 3.02. I'm heading back home. Life has definitely been lifing in a in a bittersweet way, I would say. Um, I don't really know what I'm gonna do this weekend. I'm kind of overwhelmed with like work and content work, so I'm gonna try my best to get through that. And try and get some of this content out that I've been hoarding, first and foremost. But I also have like a lot of my nine to five to get done. But. Um, I just really wanted to start this vlog because I was like, it's Friday. I can't, I don't know when else I can start it, but I just need to go ahead and start it. So, um, I have a package that I need to pick up, which, <clears throat> excuse me, I don't know. I may or may not share with y'all. I'll share with y'all some of the things that are in it. Probably not all of it because I'm ashamed at what I've been spending my money on. And yeah it's also march madness so i really don't be doing anything but watching a whole bunch of basketball <laughs> like that is it and now like gambling is oh you almost hit me these children i tell you and now that um gambling is legal in north carolina i just downloaded FanDuel. shout out to landy and I'm using free money. I, I put ten dollars in. I made that ten dollars back, and I have already put that ten dollars back in my account. I do not plan on putting any more money in there. But so yeah, I've been having fun with gambling uh, with the little free money that they've been giving. But I'm not gonna fall victim to that. And yeah, I really just want to lay in my bed and read. I haven't had a chance to even start this could be us my kennedy ryan book i still need to finish um the book about ricky wilde the tia williams book that we're reading for book club which is such a beautiful beautiful read oh i kind of wish i would have actually like bought the book instead of doing the audible but that's something i want to do this weekend but i don't feel like i'm gonna have time so might have to save that for next weekend but I am almost back at home. I actually need to wash my hair. I want to try and do a roller set <laughs> on wet hair, <laughs> y'all. Oh, okay. So yeah, we'll see if that happens tonight. It really does need to happen. Something has to happen. I either gotta edit or record. One of the two things, but I'm gonna go home, eat, and try my best not to take a nap. And I'll pick you guys up later and we'll find out together what's been doing. I just want y'all to know that was the most disappointing Olive Garden meal that I've had in weeks. And it was supposed to be like a treat to myself, but it was not worth it. Anyways, oh, I look a mess. I really should wash my hair, but I'm not going to. I did get some five cheese ziti for six dollars for tomorrow. Oh, y'all keep sliding. I don't know. I should. I don't know. Anyways, um, let's see the goodies. Most of the goodies that we got from Sephora, of course. I guess I should do a poll and ask y'all if y'all want a Sephora sale suggestions but i mean who's got money to shop right now seriously okay so wow i blind purchased brown girl jane's carnival because i have their discovery set of their regular um fragrances and had to get it like they're so good i don't know why i haven't tried them out or worn them but they're really, really good. So I just went ahead and purchased the carnival. We the people, this is, y'all about to see all black owned products per usual. We the people just came out with a hydrating body gloss in the scent Cedarwood. Um, I'm a woodsy girl 
and your girl is gonna be outside this spring and summer so she got the body oil to get the the skin popping remind me to show y'all um the new notorium body wash that i just got because i love it and then i just re-upped on the danessa myricks um i just got the universal balm because i realized like those other ones the colored ones they really don't be looking like my skin like i feel like they do when i'm applying it but when i look at myself and when i look at pictures or yo my tv's got really loud or when i look at like my videos back i don't like the way my makeup be looking so oh Oh my god, I'm so parched. So, I just went ahead and got the Universal because I love the formulation, but yeah. Because even at 8.5, didn't really 8.5 the way I needed it to between 8 and 9, if I'm going to be completely honest. And I just picked up the new Danessa Myricks Moisture Repair Balm Serum because... I am a dry girly and I wanted to try that out. So that's most of everything that I just got from Sephora prior to this for sale. But like I said, I'm probably not even gonna shop. Um, stay tuned and I'll let you guys know how I feel about these products. Now I'm gonna sit down and edit a video. It's about 4.30, that gives me like an hour and a half, two hours to really like sit down, watch it, uh, watch it, work on it. And I'm probably just gonna put Insecure on in the background cause I definitely can't watch basketball and focus on a video it's gonna be a hair video because i haven't i did not upload a hair video the entire month of march what okay so let me go do that and we'll watch this hair tomorrow y'all it's sunday march 24th i believe and all I did yesterday was work. Like, your girl was putting in work. So, I didn't vlog at all. I got a video up. I was playing around in my hair, which did not work out too well for your girl. And I, um, I, I actually worked because I didn't feel too good earlier this week. So, I actually took Tuesday off from work. Um... So I kind of had to make up that time. So it's Sunday. Michael and I are going to brunch and I am trying to fix my hair. Oh, oh, that's too much. So I am, oh, that was way too much, whatever. So I am trying to turn this failed roller set into a three strand twist out using the Ajwa Melonberry line. Um, I know I've been using a lot of Ajwa products lately, but honestly, this Melonberry line, I'm just trying to get out of my stash. Well, really just the gel. The um, the hair milk, I've actually, like, like y'all know that. But really, the only reason I'm doing this today is because I want to, like, empty my stash. Um, so, yeah, hopefully this doesn't take me too long and i can sit underneath my dryer but i'm also like thirsty i am just i'm tired like that's all that there is to it um i have just been like i went from zero to 100 like y'all know how down bad i was and i wasn't really in the mood for much and then like march came and the days got longer and your girl hasn't been at home. That's why, like, I haven't been consistent with content, and I feel really bad. But it'll all, like, balance out, I think, come April. I think I was just so ready to get out of the house and so ready to enjoy March that I went full speed ahead. So even though I haven't edited the content, you guys will see it before you see this, but... Yeah, from going to the beach with Lisa, going to the SEC tournament, the women's tournament with Landon the next weekend. And then last weekend, I was only home on Saturday because I went to my friend's house on Sunday. So all of March, I have just been not at home. <laughs> and I've still been working like crazy. So it has just been 
it's been a lot on your girl in a good way in such a good way i'm so excited about the summer and i'm excited about april so it's definitely been in a good way i just need to kind of recalibrate and find balance once again so i am going to continue with my hair and once again i have made these too small i do that all the time which means it's going to take me even longer to install them but it's on stretched hair but yeah i'm gonna do that i'm gonna come back and we can pick out what i'm gonna wear today and do my makeup and we'll talk about some other things so i'll see y'all in like an hour probably i haven't even washed my face y'all i just picked up this camera and started going oh this is going to be interesting look at how that shrunk up <laughs> be out here looking a mess i can't already tell oh it's time to get ready why do i have three dyson tools in my bathroom right now let me let me pull this together actually i'm gonna go ahead and get dressed too because what time is it <clears throat> 10 25 oh that's my dryer going off i did sit underneath my dryer for like 30 minutes because i wanted to make sure my hair was dry yeah let me let me hurry up because I need to be out of here by 11 for real, for real. <laughs> Y'all, I don't, I don't know what my eyebrows are doing. Shout out to my cousin Unique for giving me a, a threading lady's number. I actually need to hit her up this week and see if I can get something done to these eyebrows because this ain't it. This, 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 this ain't it. Um, so I have about 10 minutes. Mm to put on a face i was gonna go through and do the whole rum roux with the new makeup but i don't feel like opening it unpackaging it and all that good stuff so we're just gonna go with what we have here what is that on my y'all I, I get stuff everywhere mm, 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 mm. do y'all want to know what thought i had <laughs> while I was about to put on my makeup. I am kind of jealous today that like men don't have periods. Like why was I thinking about that? Like I'm not on my arm, but I was just like, man, is that why they don't really worry about much? Because they don't know what it feels like to have to plan your life around an event that like plays with you so much. Like they don't even have to consider that once a month. Like, do they know how fortunate they are that they can just go about everyday life every day <laughs> and not be like, oh, why? Why did that bother me so much? Am I really bothered or am I just PMSing? Like, that was, I don't know where these thoughts were coming from. But man, y'all are really fortunate to the men that watch my vlogs. But anyways, oh my God, my skin feels so good. I'm thinking about what I'm going to purchase during the Sephora sale and if it's even worth it. I wasn't going to do a video until somebody asked me to. And all it takes is one person to ask me. I ain't, I ain't even going to be like, y'all asked me. No, one person asked me, so I'm going to do it. <laughs> That's just how it goes. So um, I don't know if it's going to go up before this or not, but it's... And I can go ahead and spill the tea because Forever Mood is coming out with four fragrances. So, and they're also doing the Discovery set. I'm probably going to go with the Discovery set because I've been going balls to the wall with fragrance lately. And I need to stop. And I need to be doing my makeup while I'm talking to y'all. Multitasking is just not my strong suit. Um, so what else did I want to talk about? Completely forgot. <laughs> um I okay I was talking about the other day maybe how like ever since I went to the beach I have just been in such a good mood and when I tell you like going to the beach was not in the budget um it wasn't but it was such a great investment into like me personally like just being happy I have literally been so good since that little trip to random Myrtle Beach. Shout out to Lisa 
for making me go with her. Well, not making me, but like asking me to go with her. But it just, I don't know if it was the salt, the wind, the water with these powers combined. But like when I got back to work, I didn't have any like anxiety because I feel like I speak about this often. Like I will sit at my desk while I'm working and just feel like I have so much energy, especially like after I drink coffee to a point where it's like I could be doing something else than my job. But I have been so locked in at work during work. And the key to staying locked in is one, I don't have my notifications on. Like if you know me in real life and you try to contact me between the hours of six and five, yeah. Even though I get off work typically around 3.30, my phone is on do not disturb until five because I just need that little time for a nap or whatever. So I definitely have my phone on do not disturb. The only people that can really get through is like my family and my best friend. And that's simply because she got kids who are technically my kids. But other than that, like, no. And anything that I'm doing as far as like content or social media, um, I can do for my iPad because I am watching my iPad typically like while I'm working. So I definitely don't have to be on my phone. And when I tell you that is like a major key for me when it comes to productivity, I'm just not a big phone person like that. And it's a double edged sword, especially as a content creator, because you're expected to be like social and accessible and responding to comments and all of that stuff, which is why I'm not. That's why I'm so inconsistent. It's because like, I'm just not that person. I just am not. And I don't care to be that person. I'm perfectly fine with like, whoever needs me can get in contact with me. But yeah, um, so that definitely helped after um, going to the beach. I definitely feel better. And I just feel like lighter as a person. It was just, I don't know. It was definitely necessary, I will say. Um... What else has been going on? It's almost April. I'm I'm ready though. I'm so ready for April. It's actually the end of my 12 week year. Did not reach all of my goals. Let me tell you how outrageous one of my goals was though. Like my one goal was to reach 5,000 subscribers on YouTube. Which I mean, it's people do it all the time. But let's be completely honest. I enjoy making content and I enjoy my community. Like I make content and I genuinely like enjoy it. But I just, I don't have the hair that everybody like wants to see. My hair isn't down my back. I don't have a looser curl pattern. Um, and like I wasn't rushing to do anything with sacred. Like it is what it is. Um, and I did really good in January and February, and I've gained a lot of subscribers. It just wasn't 5,000. But I'm almost at 3,500, and that is amazing because going into December, I was just at 3,000. So I've gained 500 subscribers in the last, like, four months, and that is, like, major for me. And it's like, I don't need virality or anything crazy to happen like I don't I don't want that like I want people to genuinely find me enjoy my content and continue to grow like that like that's what I like so not meeting my goal of 5,000 subscribers is cool but I do think because of how I have grown and genuinely like people subscribing to my channel i definitely think i can reach 10 by the end of this year if i just stay consistent like i definitely see it because honestly i feel like i'll be at five by like june like in no time um so thank you to anyone that has like recently subscribed to my channel i'm sorry that like haven't been consistent but you don't know that but um yeah that was one goal. Another goal was to put out three videos a week, which I did January and February. I just fell off in March and that's okay. Um, what else? Oh yeah. And then like financially, I wanted to make like $500 a month from content. 
that hadn't happened. Oh, I don't think I I have made five hundred dollars this year, and that's fine. Like I said, um, even though those were my goals, I'm perfectly okay with where I am. Like I'm so happy with everything. Like I comparing to how I felt in February as a person. And taking the time off that I needed from life, I'm so ready. And the change in seasons has definitely helped. I'm not going to lie. Like, with it being spring and the time changing, I feel like I already said that. Like, I I feel like a butterfly coming out of this cocoon. Speaking of cocoons, like, this three, this three strand twist looks like a cocoon. I hope my hair looks okay. Mm. So, yeah. I ain't putting nobody's blush on, and that's okay. Oh, what else? Y'all, okay, so listen. I feel like I talk about Ajwa all the time, but listen, I'm so excited to be a part of um, their ambassador program. It is like none other. And really, it's because, like, Julian was in one of our meetings the other day, and the way she speaks about not only her products and the innovation and the things that she wants to change, she literally, like, speaks life into us. So when I tell you, like, I am not a part of this just because of the products, I just feel like it's going to make me better as a content creator. And like, who knows? Like, I could end up working for Ajwa at some point, which isn't necessarily a goal, but wouldn't that be like kind of dope? Like, maybe it should be a goal. I don't know. But either way, I'm just very thankful that um, as a founder that like she wants to pour into us as creators and like appreciates us as creators and understands that it's a two-way street. And like when somebody can speak life into you like that and then not just be like a transactional thing, like for them to genuinely care about you, like that just, you know what I'm saying? It just deepens the connection. It deepens the relationship. I'm super excited about that. Y'all, I am moving through this makeup. Not as fast as I'd like to be, but, um, because I really need to take my hair down. But we're here. We're, we're doing things. Things are being done. Paint is being put on the face. Oh, y'all, look at that. I feel like such a person today. I love it when I feel like a person. Okay. Um, so I think that's all that I really had to say. Really, really really oh look at that <laughs> so i'm gonna finish getting ready uh i was doing a little content so i do need to finish the little short content i was working on and we'll pick this up either in the car or on my way out the door because i probably need to change my purse and stuff as well so see y'all in a bit Okay, y'all are crooked once again. Um, I don't know why I be putting fragrance on in the kitchen, but that's exactly what I am about to do. So this is the one product that I didn't show y'all earlier that I got from uh, Sephora because I don't know, I felt like y'all would judge me, but it don't even matter now. So um, I am just applying a little of the Natoya Moisturizer to thine exposed body. I feel like it doesn't have much of a scent, so it's not going to like throw off this scent and it's got like enough oil that it's gonna like last. But I picked up Sunkissed Goddess uh, by Killian. It's like their limited edition summer fragrance, I believe. I think I saw somewhere where it's actually like a re-release or something. And I just want to do like a trial of it. Um, I like it. It definitely gives like vacation vibes. But, ooh, mm, smells so good. Oh, uh, let me, I be avoiding like spraying fragrance on my clothes. Let me put a little on the clothes. And see how that lasts. So I'll be a nice little scent bubble. We changed into the little Telfy, which kind of goes 
the hair looks okay i'm 30 minutes later than i thought i was gonna be so we uh, we gotta go it's 11 28 i told michael that we would get brunch by 12 but i ain't even gonna be at her house till like 12 so let's go mm, y'all i am such a bad vlogger um it's much later. It's like nine o'clock and I'm actually trying to get ready for bed. I am tired. Ooh, y'all are cooking. Um, yeah, I'm such a really bad vlogger. Uh, Michael and I went to Snooze Eatery for brunch. First of all, we had like an hour wait. So like we were just kind of out um if you are familiar with charlotte it was like we were at atherton meal and um so we just kind of walked around we went in madewell we went in free people we went in anthropology while we waited um it was both of our first times going to snooze and the food was really really good i was hungry but the food was really good in my opinion um so worth the wait i guess it was really busy um but it was cool and then after that we went to vinyl which is you know one of my favorite little spots also really busy also this weather is giving bipolar okay if you follow me on instagram i very much posted an ig story saying it's giving men inconsistent so, um, when I walked out of my house to go to Michael's, it was low-key, high-key chilly outside. And I was like, what is this? Spring fight back. But it is what it is. I think this weekend coming up is supposed to be really nice. So, I'm excited about that. Also, we went to Paisa. I think that's what it's called. It looked like pizza, but it had an E. Pie. Mm. I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm gonna eat one before we get to your house. <laughs> show y'all that it was really cute in there i can see that being like a really cute like late night late night spot it was two doors down from vinyl but like if you out with your friends and you know you need something to like soak the liquor up and they were big slices i got two slices i should have only gotten one and i didn't even eat a whole one they're both in the refrigerator right now so that'll be lunch tomorrow I don't feel like washing my face, so I'm just going to take a whole shower. Also, that NYX bronzer, way too red. Oh, my goodness. I wish y'all could have seen my face when I put it on. I don't like it. I'm going to return it because I don't like it. I mean, you can see it now, but I went on top of it with my um, Charlotte Tilbury that I usually wear. I went on top of it with my blush because it was just red. Very pigmented. You don't need a lot, but it's just really red. I don't know. Maybe I will keep it because in the summer, even though I feel like I have a neutral undertone, in the summer, I come off very red. I don't know why I'm so oily. Either way, I'm tired. I, this was just going to be a weekend vlog, but seeing as how I didn't even show y'all what I did at brunch today, we're just going to extend this to next weekend, okay? We're, we're going to get a, a week-long vlog, so it's going to be long. I apologize or not, but um, <laughs> I got to go to bed, y'all. I'll see y'all later this week.